Today we're going to work on the next step of our Keith Haring project. So I have my figures glued to my construction paper and then we're going to put these all on one larger piece of construction paper so they're glued next to each other. Um, my plan is to put them in this order. You can put them in what order you like the best. I chose this because this is a cool color background and a cool color background and a warm color background. So I didn't want it to be two cool colors and one warm color, but that was just my preference. So when I glue these down, I'm going to move them all off of this piece of paper. I'm going to start with the one that I want on one end, and I'm going to use the dot dot not a lot method. Make sure my glue bottle is open. Dot around the edge. I'm a few through the middle and then I'm going to line it up with the edge of my background paper, top and the side so that it's straight. And then I might even flip it over and just make sure that it is lined up and rub. And then I'm going to do the next one. So you can see when I put my second one down that it's right next to that first one. Again, rub, and then I will do my last one. So now my last one is glued down. It's lined up again next to the middle one, and none of my background paper is showing. And I might, just for good measure, turn it over and rub on the back while I have it turned over. It would also be a good idea to write your name on the back and your class code. Okay, so. Now I have that done. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add my lines that I want to paint on the background. You're going to do this with pencil. I'm going to use a black marker so that you can see it better. Um, I've shown you some examples on the smart board for you to look at and then you can go ahead with pencil and draw them where you want them to go. And then once you have them drawn in, you are going to go ahead and paint over them. So I'm going to start with my tip painting skills again, my little bit of paint on the tip of my brush, and very carefully paint over the lines, hardly pressing so that I get a nice thin line. If my paint starts to look rough, I could flip my paintbrush over and see if I have more paint on the backside, or simply just reload. Notice I never get paint up on the metal part of my brush. I hold my paintbrush like a pencil and I gently let it glide across the paper. Once you are done painting all your designs, then you can put this on the drying rack and get your reflection to fill out. The music that you're going to look at. When I'm painting down here close to my the body, that black line is okay with the colors. The black line is my figure. And you can see I'm right-handed, so I work on the left side of my paper first, and then go ahead and paint towards the left. I don't put my hand in that box. So I'm working from the top to the bottom. And the idea here is that I get a marker, I go to the middle. And there I'm all done. I've got all mine painted and drawn on. And I might even at the end then take a black marker and sign someplace on my painting on the front and put it on the drying rack. 